today is a good day. Today the world is gonna be full with cars and airplanes and I don't know what I'm talking about. I just want to say something funny and um, it didn't work out. I'm sorry. Last night's NXT was a banger. So let's cover it. Let's see why it was a banger. First off, we opened the show with Trick Williams versus Celia Dragunov. Banger. Uh, botches here and there, but banger nonetheless. After this match, everyone said that Trick Williams is a megastar. What did I tell you, everyone? What did I tell you? The Trick Williams is the best out of the NXT roster. But you didn't believe me. And now all of you are like, Trick Williams is a megastar. Listen to me next time. Listen to me. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. As I said, the match was a bang. Trick Williams looked strong. Ilya Dragunov looked strong. I'm not sure what's next for both of them. There was a little bit of a segment between Trick and Carmelo in the back. And I thought that Trick is gonna be like, I want to shot at the NXT Championship, bro. I want to see that kind of, but I think they're just planting the seeds now. And Trick Williams at some point are either gonna attack Carmelo or either he's gonna ask Carmelo for a title shot. Next up, Ava Rain, or now she's called Ava, is having a match versus Ivy Nile. I really like Ivy Nile and I also I want to give a shot at Ava. So I'm really happy that she's having a match and she delivered. Honestly, she's having a new signature move or I'm not sure if, it, if it's even a signature move. That scorpion kick that she just bounces the person off the ropes and after that she kicks him with the back of his foot. Did I? She does something like this, you know? Did I? Did I say that right? The match ended with Ivy Nile winning, but that was not important. I knew that the Creed brothers are in the schism members, and I don't know how schism didn't see that. I'm frustrated about that bit. Two of the schism members took Ava uh, to the schism tree, and after that, it turned out that they're the Creed brothers, and they want a match that it will reinstate them in the NXT. And I'm not sure where we're going with this storyline, and it's a little bit obvious that the Creed Brothers will win and they're gonna return to NXT, but I don't understand why they're just not moving to the main roster. I feel like there are not too many tag teams in the main roster right now anyway, so the Creeds will be welcome there. I really want to wait till next week to see what actually is gonna happen. No more comments about that one. After that, we had a match that I really waited for, Nathan Fraser versus Noam Dar for the NXT Heritage Cup. And I really like the format of that match. I really said in the past that I like the Heritage Cup and that it's defended under special rules. I really enjoyed the match. I, I watched all the six rounds. I was really frustrated that one of the points happened during a commercial break. Are you serious? Like Noam Dar took one point while there was a commercial break. Are you insane? Also, I don't know what that does mean for Nathan Fraser. If he loses the championship, is he gonna compete in the tournament? We actually understand that Noam Dar is gonna defend the championship after five weeks because there's gonna be a tournament that is gonna choose the next contender. That's that for the Heritage Cup. And next up, we had a little bit of a segment going on with the Women's Championship. Tiffany Straton was uh, bragging about something or she was yapping about something. And after that, four women came out of nowhere. Gigi Dolan, Blair Davenport, Katana. No, no, it's not Katana. The girl that was trying to hook up with someone from Briggs and Jensen, but it didn't work out and she actually double-crossed him and that girl and Roxanne Perez. There's gonna be a Fatal 4 match that will choose the next contender for the championship and there is no better contender than Roxanne Perez and I hope for Roxanne Perez winning the championship itself and I feel like if she's the champ, people will actually care about the championship itself but right now no one cares about the championship itself so it's kind of whatever what is happening in the whole division. The Judgment Day versus Dragon Lee and Lyra Valkyrie, Lyra Valkyrie. Okay, the match itself was okay. It was fine. I never liked Max Team matchups because it kind of makes no sense. Because usually, when there is a tag team match, 
Sometimes making a tag can be life-saving for the match, but in this case, if you make a tag and you try to save the match, you're basically saving the match for the opponents as well. So that's why I don't quite like the mixed tag match. And also, what I liked, we saw Rodri 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 Ra Ra Raquel Rodriguez interfering the match, and it kind of gave me the NXT vibe from the past. And after that, she said in a backstage segment that that's why she did it, because in the past they were fighting in that. Any anyway, anyway, we got it. Yesterday I even told you that this is the whole point of Raquel Rodriguez feud. Is she gonna be the champ? No, but it's gonna be a banger. Baron Corbin versus Von Wagner was supposed to happen, but I assuming because there was no time left, Baron Corbin attacked Von Wagner before the match, and out of nowhere, the best peer in the business. Sorry, Edge. Sorry, but you are gone, and now I have to choose a new spear. Anyway, Braun Breaker with an insane spear to Von Wagner. Like, he just. My guy just flew out of somewhere and speared Von Wagner. I, uh, it was it was good and basically as I said last week there's gonna be a triple threat probably at no mercy and I'm really excited to see that finally the main event the match that raised the bar the match that was special Carmelo Hayes versus Wesley everyone knows that Carmelo Hayes is special everyone knows that Wesley is special they just put a clinic as Michael calls someone I don't know what does that mean to be fair with you, uh, I don't know what putting a clinic means, but I guess it means that it's a great, great experience. The match itself was great, I don't know what else to tell you. The right person won, Carmelo Hayes retained. I feel like Wesley did not give up and he's gonna continue chasing the championship. And also the match was a little bit short, that's why I feel like they're gonna do it again at a pay-per-view or something, but it was great. And if you have paid attention to the whole video, I know you have skipped it. I know you have skipped it. Just go back. If you have paid attention, you will see that I said nothing negative. Maybe only for the women's championship, but Roxanne Perez is gonna win, I tell you, and she's gonna fix everything. But there is nothing bad about the whole show. The whole show gets a hundred out of ten, and I'm really excited to see what's next week in store or the next pay-per-view and nxt is a bomb thank you guys so much for watching peace